Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeers.com. Tonight, um, from the Perrin Brewing, Perrin Brewing Company, it's spelled P-E-R-R-I-N. This is their black. Um, so this is kind of confusing, but I believe, uh, with what limited research I did, they're based out of Michigan, but this particular um, beer, at least this one, was brewed and canned. It says, by Perrin Brewing Company, LLC, Brevard, North Carolina, which is up near Asheville where all the micro breweries have blossomed outside of Colorado. Um, but the reason why this is interesting, it came in a multi-12 pack that appears to be stemmed by Oscar Blues Brewing, also out of the Asheville Brevard area, in a multi-12 pack. And there were three of these cans at Dale's Pale Ale, something Squatters, Double IPA, and I can't remember the, oh, and, uh, and Highlight, actually out of Florida, from Cigar Brewing. So it was a really cool multi-12 pack. It was like $22, I think. Um, so, so the reason why I have this can, I have three of them, I've never tried it before. ABVs are 5.8% is what it says, the IBUs are 22, um, this is, this is, I like this, this is, this beer is counterintuitive, um, it pours dark as night but drinks like a summer afternoon, a light body yet flavorful dark ale with hints of semi-sweet chocolate and nuances of fresh coffee, so, um, it's 5.8%. Um, I kind of would guess this is well, maybe like a like a lighter porter kind of thing. Um, a black ale can be a lot of things, um, but again, if it's got chocolate and coffee in there, you would expect as it is pouring to pour with a nice dark hue to it. Um, the head is appropriately uh, slightly discolored as well. Um, I can already smell the chocolate. It smells really good. Um, it smells like coffee and chocolate. Smells like a like a milk uh, chocolate kind of chocolate bar, dark chocolate, some cocoa in there, some malt, some nuttiness. It smells really good. It smells exactly the way it should. So kudos to that. But as we always say, if what matters is what's in the glass. So cheers. Exactly what I would have expected. Um, light body, um, nice little kind of zingy. Um, I call it effervescence of carbonation. It kind of tickles your, your palate a little bit and then kind of fizzles out pretty quickly. Um, um, finishes pretty quick, um, pretty dry. Um, it's not sticky at all. Uh, it's not real sugary either. Um, it's more nutty uh, than a, in a flavor than any aroma. It's good. Um, it's really good. It's, it's, it tastes also like 5.8%. Like, it, it's light enough to where you could definitely drink more than one of these. But we rate our beers in one of five. <clears throat> I would probably give this, I guess, a three and a half. It's not, like, spectacular. It doesn't, like, blow your socks off. It's not intended to. Um, but I don't really uh, give beers over four unless it's something that's super-duper spectacular. I mean, this is very good quality, well-brewed, well good balance, very drinkable. Uh, it's got a lot of likable qualities. And the fact that we're putting it in a multi-12 pack is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, that's our uh, take on this one. New brewery, new beer. Let us know if you've tried the old Pear in Black. Leave comments on our YouTube channel. We upload all of the time. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.